welcome to the next video guys in this one I just want to go ahead and edit the model so the two main things I want to do in this video is basically have a cylindrical handle which the uh, which I'm holding in the live footage and also edit the plane itself so this unnecessary protrusions at the edges which are cutting to the hand are removed now to get started first off let me go ahead select the cylinder I'll go ahead and um, duplicate this I'll hide the original which exists and this one let's isolate it and start editing it. So I've gone ahead deleted the center portion of this cylinder so it no longer gives any issues and now what I want the cylinder to do is basically transition from a cylinder being a cylinder into being this plane halfway through. So let's say from 25% of the cylinder I want it to transition so I just had to do some basic modeling. So let's go back into our isolation mode. I'll come back out of the smoothing mode and let's go use insert edge loop tool. So I'm holding shift on my keyboard, right clicking and I get insert edge loop tool. I use this tool to add in some extra edges. So first I want to maintain the cylinder to be a cylinder till where I'm holding it in my hand. So this is a ring which I'm not going to edit. It's going to maintain the shape. Then I have a next ring which is a transition ring which is where the cylinder starts flattening out and becoming the ocean itself and I have another one which just gives me some extra details. So let's go ahead and start editing this first. I have to do the same edits on the other side too. What I want is a smooth uh, blending from being a cylinder to the landscape whereas now if I hit smooth you can see the transition suddenly stops abruptly when it reaches the landscape so just to get that transition there I'm going to create another edge loop here which is going to be flattened a bit more so this gives me a smoother transition so what I'm doing now is basically moving it around and uh, making the transition as smooth as possible so let me just go uh, speed this up a little bit so you don't have to look at me doing the whole thing. Okay so now I have done some edits and as you can see it's a very smooth transition which I just wanted there and I've added it in and now the final thing I want to do is make sure it's flattened out completely here at the edge. I'm just going to place it a little below the landscape itself so it looks like a good transition. Now to get the same details on the other side so I'm just going to go edit that. Now as you can see this one has been edited halfway. The main reason being you can see the mirroring is turned on so I should have had it off by default whereas okay can't really help anything now. So let me go ahead just edit this too. I'll be back in a few seconds. Okay, so I have these cylinders created now. As you can see, it's a very simple model, absolutely nothing extra in there. The only thing I want to change is if I come closer, you can see that the sections are very sharp. It does not look as smooth, so I don't want any highlights giving me issues because there might be specular highlights on this. So I'll just go into the attribute editor. Under smooth mesh, I'm going to increase the number of subdivisions and also I'm just going to remove display subdivision so it does not give me that uh, uh, lines displayed and uh, heavy up the mesh. Now another thing I want to do is just go ahead and crease this corner edge a little so it looks kind of interesting. So it looks like the cylinder is transitioning into the actual plane. So creasing that edge similarly coming here and creasing this so I'm using the control key to go to that transition level okay now once this is done let's come back and see exactly how it matches up with our landscape and as you can see there are a few issues first off the landscape is a bit higher compared to my cylinder now uh, something which we might try and tend to do is just select the cylinders and move them up but that's the worst thing you could do because these things are placed exactly where they have to be so the best thing to do is actually take the landscape and move it to match up with our actual cylinder placeholders now 
So I've gone ahead, uh, selected the landscape. I'm um, making use of the up arrow, uh, the yellow axis, Y axis, which is selected now. And I'm just gonna middle click and drag it till it covers up this cylinder just a little. So it holds up to the transition there. Okay, done. So as you can see, the transition is done and it might give certain issues later, but for now, I'm satisfied with this. Now, the next thing I have to edit is the landscape outline here to make it blend in with the cylinder and also um, make sure it does not actually cut in through my hand. So to do that, let's go ahead. I'll take the NURB circle and unhide that. because This is the one I want to edit. Uh, let's come out. I'll also hide the landscape mesh because I don't really need that for now and I can edit this. Now first thing to note, I need to know exactly which location is the uh, part which is cutting through the hand and if I open up my play blast, here you should see that um, the portion which is cutting through the hand, this region is uh, actually has this kind of protrusion. So I just need to make sure that that is the section I'm editing. So let's go ahead and see where that comes in Maya. So as you can see, this is the section I have to edit. So this is a back portion of the landscape and this is the region which is facing the camera. So let's go ahead and start editing this. I can select different UVs and I can just move them in screen space. I'm using my middle mouse button and up and down arrow keys on the keyboard to move different between the different vertices. So I'm also making sure that the lines do not actually go outside the boundary. They're staying inside the boundary of the original plane we had created. So that should not give us any issues with the displacement. Also I'm making sure the curve has a transition from the cylinder to this. Okay, so gone ahead and edited this curve right now. So I think I'm okay with whatever results I have for now. So let's go ahead and project these results onto our final landscape. So to do that, as you know, I just had to go ahead and edit some property of its displacement. So let's go to uh, the material. Okay, not the material. Let's just uh, transverse through and see where we have any of the displacement values. So we have the layer texture, which is editing things. So let me just go ahead, change the alpha a little bit. And you should see the landscape gets updated in the viewport. So as you can see, because of the procedural nature of the things I have created right now, even though I've gone ahead and edited things uh, after such a long time, it still updates and works properly. So now there are two things which I've done. First thing is I've created this uh, cylindrical holdout and also edited the outline of the landscape so it does not actually cut through. So these two things, let's actually see how they work. And looking at this, you can see because of the projection being connected through the normal, it's not cutting through properly, but I think it's going to look different, artistic or something like that probably. I don't think it's going to be an issue for now. So this is a simple edit which I've done with the landscape. Let's go ahead and take another play blast of this and see what we have created and whether if there's any tweaks, we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so gone ahead and taken the play blast and as you can see, it looks pretty well uh, this time. There are another two issues which I'm seeing. Uh, first of them is uh, in cert certain locations like this, the actual cylinder is seen at the edges. So even if I come forward, uh, when there is a bit of motion blur, the cylinder at the back is seen, which I don't want to happen. So what I'm going to do is just take the um, 3D cylinder which I created and just uh, increase its radius a bit. Just basically make it a bit more thicker so that it can hide the object right behind it so I don't have to do any removals on that. And another thing I have noticed is here. As you can see, this mesh is still cutting through the hand. So I have two uh, ideas of this, like the way I can solve this. The first of them is I can again go edit this landscape so it's gone off in this area. So basically I can cut this portion off, but it's too large a portion. So what I can also do is when it comes here, I can roto out this portion so it looks like it's actually behind the hand. Whereas in reality, it's actually cutting through the hand, but when you look at it through the whole animation, it looks like it's actually behind. So what I'm thinking is I'll go ahead and use a combination of both. I'll just edit it a little bit 
to get it a bit um, outside and then also roto it so it gives me a bit more parallax three-dimensional movement so it uh, feels more integrated into my scene so let me go ahead and make these changes the first is I want to increase the thickness and second is I want to edit this so I'll do it while I'm not recording so I don't have to again see the same thing and in the next video we are going to go ahead and try to integrate these cylinders which are graying color now to transition into the background and also onto the landscape